We're now joined by Emmanuel Antwi Daka of Ghana. Emmanuel, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Emmanuel, let's start with some reflections uh, of the past 20 years. We know that that's the theme of AF 2018. Your take on where the energy sector on the continent is? 20 years is pretty, pretty, a pretty long time to, mm. to have changes in the, in the environment that we're operating. 20 years ago, we really didn't have IPPs in the environment. Almost all the utilities were state-owned utilities and they continue to operate as state-owned utilities. 20 years ago, we didn't have a regulatory system. We, had, we were doing self-regulation. Most, most governments and the utilities were just doing the regulation themselves. The, the basis for entry into the power sector or exiting from the power sector, the pricing, the licensing, they were all not things that were there. What has happened over the last 20 years is that there's been a lot of growth in, in demand for power, spurred on by economic growth. So in 20 years, we've seen a lot of changes. We've seen private participation. We've seen government reinforcing its role in the sector. And then, of course, there's a new frontier that we call re uh, renewables. 20 years ago, it wasn't such a big thing. Today, it's a big thing. Take us through some of the work uh, that Volta River Authority does. Volta River Authority is a, is a power utility, basically. But we have a small distribution company that serves about 20% of Ghana. But essentially, we generate power, as I said. We have a portfolio of hydro and thermal generation, totaling about 2,400 megawatts. And it's 50-50, 50% hydro, 50% thermal. We've been in the business for almost 60 years. We celebrated our 57th anniversary a couple of months ago. And through, through our activities, Ghana has grown from where it was in the 60s to where it is today. We've also been uh, very uh, important in the sub-region as well. We've been uh, supplying power to our neighbors for the last almost 50 years as well. We started supplying power to our neighbors in the East uh, Togo Benin in 1972. And in 1983, we started exporting power to Cote d'Ivoire to our west. This year, we are extending our footprint in Burkina Faso. We are ex exporting power to Burkina Faso. So we have a big name in the sub region, the West African sub region. One of the things we've done very, very well is to um, build capacity. All our power plants are, are operated by ourselves with no external, external assistance. Um, We've trained other people from other utilities in the sub-region. We've been the, the, the utility around with the, the expansion of power, the power network in the sub-region has, has, has taken place. So if you look at Ghana, as I said, we've been the anchor on which the economic uh, improvement has, has happened in the sub-region. We are also there. Let's look at the outcomes of AF 2018. What are you hoping comes out of this meeting of minds? You know, the, th the fascinating thing about AEF is that you have a group of some like-minded people, some radical people, all in one space trying to make things work. I think that the desire for everybody to get things to work in the sector is what is most uh, paramount here. So it gives us that platform, share ideas, see how our fellow utilities handle their businesses, how governments uh, deal with the issues in the sector. And more importantly, how our competitors also operate. So it's a great networking opportunity. And it's always been very helpful. This is, for me as an individual, this is my second um, participation in AEF. My first one was in Paris in, I think, 2011. It was a useful tool, and that's why I've come back uh, today. But 20 years of AEF to Ghana has been phenomenal. We've been, it's, it's been a very useful platform. My predecessors as chief executives of Volta Revolutionary have always participated in this. So we have some marriage with AEF just because of the usefulness of AEF to us. Emmanuel, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me.